Welcome to my Purple Hammer Reactive Ball Review. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Today, we are here at the Sports Shot at WSU. So I'm out here at Seneca Bowl. To bring you a complete review of the second coming of the greatest bowling ball of all time, the Purple Hammer. This time, it's reactive. We're here on the Sports Shot at WSU. This one is 40 feet, very flat. So it's gonna be a really challenging pattern and hopefully I can put up a good game. So today we have three Purple Hammer. I got the Strong Layout Purple Hammer Reactive, the Strong Layout Purple Hammer, and a Weak Layout Purple Hammer Reactive with a little bit of shine on it. I just ran it over with a 3000 pad on a spinner just to get that out of box surface off of it. And today on the Sports Shot, we'll be using both of the Purple Hammer and the Purple Hammer Reactive with the really strong layout. They're laid out the exact same and we're gonna test the versatility. Because that original Purple Hammer is super strong and versatile across all patterns, I'm gonna be testing out this Purple Hammer Reactive to see if it's gonna give me a similar shape. Hopefully it doesn't, because I don't need the same shape. Hopefully it is just as versatile with a little cleaner through the, I think that's what this ball is designed to do. The regular purple hammer urethane. Really early hook. Why bro? Great. There we go. See it really hook early, really hard. This is actually kind of what I want to see where there's a ton of early friction on the lane. I don't need my purple hammer. It hooks way too early and really jumps offline. I'm gonna give it two more shots just to see and then I'll, uh, I'll break out the reactive purple hammer and I'll let you guys know what I see. Much better, much better. Oh, oh. Here I come, oh. here I come. That's why we need the Purple Hammer Reactive. Way better. Oh. I'm now warmed up and ready with this Purple Hammer Reactive. I'm gonna bowl one game with it, take you through my thought process, my moves, and let you guys know what I think and where it fits in my bag on the sports shot before I go over to Seneca Bowl and bowl on the house shot. Hopefully Brunswick doesn't hate me for this ball review. It better go well. Safe on the spare. Done. So with this being a reactive ball, it's gonna be a little more responsive. So with as much early hook and no oil in the middle of the lane that there is. I'm gonna have to roll it a little bit to really control the pocket. So hopefully this shot, a little better. I'm gonna go two and one back to the left. And just throw a really bad shot. All right, so here's the deal. It's been a little bit of a struggle the first half of the game because right in this region, there's like no oil from all of the open play. And right in this region, well, there's a bunch of oil because there hasn't been a lot of left He's bowling on this lane. So I'm gonna move a couple left and try and use this oil, use a little ball speed and a little ball roll to keep it online and hit the pocket more than once in a row. As for a scoring update, 57 in the third with a spare in the fourth. I gotta get to striking a little bit. Show you guys what this ball can do on the sports shot and show you how versatile it is. Ooh, close to the pocket, close though. There we go, a little jam shot. I'm jamming it here with a little speed, a lot of roll. Quick break in the action. These are the 31 bowling balls I'm trying to give away to you guys in the month of December, but we have to hit 90,000 subscribers before I give these away to you. I don't actually know what we're pacing, but it's right here. So if you can help us up that pace, we'll get to 90,000 and I can give away these 31 bowling balls to you as of December 1st, every single day for the rest of the year. So click that subscribe button and let's get back to the video. Now with the move left and the higher ball speed, I found a way to hit the pocket and really um, control the head pin and control my spares easier. So now I just gotta throw some good shots down the stretch. I got a chance for 226 left. Really, I'm hoping for some US Open type scores. I gotta throw a double for like that 2-0 or hopefully throw a three bagger for that 210 or 220. So 
Um, gotta throw some good ones. Well, as long as I spare, I got the 2-0, and I need a strike for the 2 teen and a double for the 220. Oh. Or just grab it and miss in and have it hook early and all of the bad things. But I can still strike again for 220 normal instead of Brooklyn. And then miss one to the left. Could have been a better last couple of shots. Are you sure about that? But regardless, 213 final score. And what do you guys think would happen if I threw the weaker one instead of the tall with the out of box surface? And now that you guys have guessed, I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw it, give it three shots, and then I'll bring it to Seneca and show you guys what that ball can do on the house shot. Ah, oh, that definitely would have been the ball. Like, that's just so frustrating that I would have hit the pocket with the ease with the weak one. So now I'm sadly taking the weak one over to Seneca to show you guys how well this ball is going to roll on a house shot, hopefully. Just do it! It did a good job on the sport shot with how hard they were, and as you can see, clearly made a massive mistake by throwing the strong one out here with how much they hook in the middle lane. I'm an idiot. Now let's go to Seneca. Hopefully I'm less of an idiot there. So I'm out here at Seneca Bowl looking to shoot a big number with this weaker purple hammer and take you on that process along what I can move, what my moves are, and where it fits in my bag on the house shot as well as where it fits in my bag on the sports shot. Strike, strike, strike. Foul bagger. This ball right now for me, I'm seeing it on the house shot. It's gonna be a ball that I'm gonna be able to use all the time. It's gonna be that step up from a counterattack solid, a step up in a different shape than like a messenger solid. It's a little cleaner. Um, as with this weaker layout, with me shining it up a little bit with that 3000 pad. And with that, I'm able to keep my ball online, create a little bit of natural hold with the ball, and hopefully continue to strike here these next couple frames. Strike out for Mordor from a place of strength. Well, that's so bad. Oh my, I hit it, I threw it left. I made all the wrong house shot misses, and it still struck. I'm trying to keep this thing going and just throw a better shot than the last one. So much worse than the last one. I did the same thing. That time I missed it. I missed in. I hopped at the line and I just slung it out there. And it still struck again. Halfway home with the front six. That's better. And that was flush. Uh, front seven, front eight, no more. Uh, uh, uh. Ripped on it. There we go. So I had the front seven and then I wrapped a seven pin. But good news is with this ball, what I'm seeing with this ball is as you kind of move across the lane, you're gonna need to keep that speed slower, throw it with slower friction. Or what I'm seeing is you should leave the ball out of the box, throw it, and don't be afraid to change the surface because I change the surface on mine knowing I'm a slower speed, higher rev guy, knowing I want a ball that I can play a little straighter with, get it through the fronts, and that's exactly what this ball is doing. It wrapped a seven pin there after having the front seven with a lot of really good breaks. Um, and now as I'm gonna move a little deeper to show you guys 
what this ball can do. I'm gonna keep the speed really slow knowing that with this ball a little shinier, I'm gonna need to really get it to the friction. So this ball for me is gonna be a spot in my bag where when there's a ton of friction and I need to get it through the fronts a little bit, I can, I can take this thing out of the bag no matter what the pattern and have a consistent look to hit the pocket and a good chance to strike. Let's move five. Five right, see what happens. Well, would you look at that? Maybe I'll move another five. Another five here. Really get it to the friction. Oh, almost struck. Okay, maybe I can't move that deep. Overall, this ball I think is gonna be an awesome ball in my bag on sport shot. With a strong drilling and leaving that out of box surface on it, I feel like I can really use that ball on a variety of sport shots. And then I can drill this weak one, bring it up a little, bring the surface up a little bit and really just hold that line, keep it to the pocket, give it a little extra back end reaction, which leads to plenty of strikes on a house shot. So for you guys out there, don't be afraid to change the surface on your purple hammer. And if you guys wanna watch more bowling ball reviews like this one, you can click the tab right over here for more ball reviews just like this one. We kick it.